was trying to let you in Late nights, you've been deceiving Perception changed all quick in my eyes And I don't know if it's just right, no Got a lot of secrets in your life, yeah. Got a lot of secrets in your life, yeah. You got a lot of secrets in your life, yeah. You got a lot of secrets, secrets So, this is the book of the Ladies on Mice that I went before the show ends on Sunday, which is the last one on March 8. So I went on Saturday, March 7, 2020 for the Ladies on Mice at Factory Theater for 50th anniversary season. So, it is quite an experience and all about the, the money, sex, drugs, and power of this kind of Me Too movement. It's all Asian women into this experience of this kind of act. Amazing. Um, hi everybody, and welcome to the Pipe Show on season four, episode number 15. I'm Kobayan Jermaine, host and founder of the Pine Show, and what's up guys, and Good to see you for a Saturday afternoon and thanks again uh, very, very intense. This coronavirus um, reached uh, 100,000 cases, which is very, very concerning. And lots of major events have been shut down and canceled. Oh boy. <laughs> Including one of the E3, the S. SXSW, um, the auto show, one of the auto show, international auto shows across from the country, they've been canceled for the COVID virus, empty arenas, basketball, baseball, they, no, I don't think the baseball is not going to shut down, if, if this is happening on Major League Baseball due to the COVID virus, but the NHL, yeah, the, um, I saw the Twitter on Yolanta, Thrashers will play in an empty area because of the core virus. So I think they're going to eliminate the locker rooms for the NHL players. It says on the news for the core virus update. But this has gone way, 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 way to this overtop disaster. And um, to bear with me, guys, um, I'm trying to keep trying to keep me safe from the core virus. I hope I don't get infected. So I talk about one of these episodes from last previous episode, not last, uh, previous episode on episode 14, when I had experience on traveling all around to US and international. So it has nothing positive. So, I'm 20 years old, like many age of 50 to 70, 50 to 80, yeah, I think they had an experience traveling this record, where they found about the, the core virus, where they tourists on Italy, China, all around in the country. They have to deal with it. This action. The WHO, the World Health Organization, have been declared a global pandemic. So they have to take serious for this important action. Is to wash your hands for 20 seconds. Like I wash 20 seconds to get this hands clean without Infection is going on, not all over to my body. No, it's just a hands, not to avoid touching their face. Remember in quotation movie 2011, actress Kate Winston. She's on. She's she is right. Never, never touch the face. Never touch your face. 
Never. Never touch your eyes, never touch your nose, never touch your mouth. And also, all of them. Never touch your face. That's how you need to protect to yourself from gang germs to kill it. And to survive is to fight to, su to survive. By avoid this prevent of core virus. Comes up into a into an infection all over. And that will be awful, deadly awful. So let's get on to this update. First you see in Vancouver, British Columbia puts a first death in Canada. And a man 80 years old with health problems and gone virus roach have been recovered and now a fatal death in in uh, in affection could be fatal. That was on happening on Sunday, March 8, 2020. First man at age of 80 died in Vancouver North, British Columbia, because this first death in Canada. That's the first death on the record for the for the WHO for the COVID virus in Vancouver, BC. Well, there goes there goes there goes a man pass away from the coronavirus. virus. Now for the second one, the New York International Auto Show is going to be postponed from April to August 2020 over the coronavirus. virus. That is a fact. So they give an early news statement that this is not going to work. I'm about to show you this early statement before the COVID virus H they overturn this is going to be pushed back to August 2020 for New York International Show over COVID virus. So here's the paper right here that you can see this on March 2020 this early statement before the COVID virus. They changed the schedule to August 2020. It's not going to be April. And it's going to be a hell of hell of a lot of worse. Yeah. Read the statement says um, in five weeks to go before the New York International Auto Show press review day starting April 8th and 9th. Organizers are moving forward with plans to open a show at the schedule. We are in communication with the state and the local officials at the Jobs Jacob K. Javanis Convention Center. And at this point, there are no plans to cancel any shows at the factory due to the coronavirus. It's just any events, like no cancellation, maybe is except for the New York International Show is pushing back to August 2020. And you know this is the fact. Now you've seen it, what what they they had coming. That this is reality. And also there's an exclamation point. Ladies and gentlemen, the Japanese Center and the Auto Show are taking precautionary measures inside the vendors while the state and the local agencies are taking steps to limit to the, to the spread of respiratory virus. I'm not going to read the whole thing. So, the New York International Auto Show is pushed back August 2020. So, they're not going to cancel any events except for the New York International Auto Show. It's pushed back to August 2020. So maybe they're gonna continue 
on the on Jacob K. Javeris Convention Center on one of any events that is not going to be canceled over the core virus. And also, for the New York International Show, it has been postponed, not canceled, postponed to August. So, I guess I'm very happy then that people all around the Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, in the social media, they are very happy. And now, why did not pay the ticket for our auto show in April? I guess we'll just wait to see what will happen if they come updates on the New York International Auto Show and the Jacob Cage of Vedic Convention Center organization and this franchise building if they need to do something in New York. Yeah, um, United States of America, there are so many confirmed cases, over 400 patients. 400 in the United States of America patients have been confirmed. Anyways, um, we're gonna go for a break, we'll continue right after this break, right here on The Pine Show. Well, welcome back from the break on the final show with Carbanjo right here on on Storyfire. Thank you for the, thank you for joining us back, and um, it's time for the twelve actors. Um, they're doing great, and now for the seventh straight year, they've been clinched a playoff spot for seven years in a row. So, twelve actors once again. They have clinched a playoff spot. So let's see if they win the NBA championship for back-to-back. -back. I hope we can win to, to, to succeed in the city of Toronto and Canada. Because of the core virus, we have to end this, 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 disaster, this disaster of a core virus. It must stop. And I pray to and I pray to God that we that I have the ability to take responsibility to fight to end this core virus to take action now. Let's go, Raptors for prayers and hope if they win the NBA championship again. But I am super happy that 12 Raptors are clinched for the seven year in a row a playoff spot in the division. Now, onto the <sighs> one of two limited editions on what I got the Frozen 2 on Blu-ray and including the 4K disc. So one is Best Buy, the Steelbook, and the Target in the United States of America exclusive that includes a storybook. So that, that one I can show you this one. This, tar this Target exclusive is, is Frozen 2. And I really like this. This cover book, this cover. And now look at this. And now look at this. Wow. Look at this. There's a fire. Elsa puts out on the fire. And now Olaf and Anna in a boat where there's a water. Where there's water, there's a huge, huge giant. And a huge waterfall. Over here is Olaf. That love sign, huh? There's an air. There's Kristoff and 
you know, uh, this reindeer, I think, is, is Kristoff. Uh, oh, I forgot his, I forgot the name, this reindeer. Uh, I know Kristoff, and Elsa, and Anna, and Olaf. Yeah. So, uh, kind of really love this this movie so much. And also, you can see this, if I can take the disc, because this battery is going to die in just a minutes away. So, take a look at this. There it is. There's Elsa's in the Frozen 1, where they started from the prologue. There it is. So, I am very happy <laughs> they put it on the Frozen 2 on, on one of the previous movie on Frozen 1 where all they started where Elsa because of this because he can't because the the what he has become the phone what he has what Elsa runs away from preventing from trouble with uh, puts puts Aaron uh, at risk because Elsa has Magical snow powers, yeah. That that could be a curse or magical or something. Yeah. So this is where Elsa lives there. <sighs> I'm very happy they put it back in the frozen tube in this film. So that is good news. So there's a storybook. That I just got the storybook is inside this this Blu-ray, and I look at the book and look at this. The elements of air, fire, were earth. Look at that. Look at this picture. And Elsa, look at that. Look at that. Look at that dress. Wow. We have. I have never saw on a film that could wear this on on this film. And that be oh I dropped this. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, um the air fire water earth explains of the elements of air fire water earth. These elements became the guiding iconography of design of Fossil 2 and key inspiration of the film's narrative. The wind spirit is is based on an old Norse myth. A wind spirit myth may appear in many scan Delvin folks folk tales. There are myths are about the giant boulders left over the ice age that scattered through the Scan Diane Van Forge and the are to say have been thrown by the rock trolls. The fire spirit was inspired by the stories we heard about piles of timber that were lit on fire and salamander ran out. Makes seem like they were magical fire spirit, all these animal creators from the folk tales, myths, and legends of the region. It's Chris Box said. So I love I, I really like this. This myth, air, fire, water, earth, explains about the the giant boulders and where they live from the myth and the old past, where where um, in from Arendelle, from North 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 Georgia, try and get that word right, and because uh, it's kind of it's kind of stupid, like like if I need to get some more and more and more English, well, so. The words in English is needs to be challenged so hard. So, air fire. There's a picture. The air fire, and then water. There's Elsa. Um, I think she. Ah, uh, yeah. She. I think she fell over. She fell over after he, she got. She got frozen and. Um, yeah. There's my mom. Talking on the phone, so 
It's kind of <laughs> I keep the keep I am um, doing I'm doing such a silly silly episode. This this fully this fully fully episode. So so really like this gallery book. I'm not gonna go over this detail because we don't have enough time. So I guess we have to move on. Um, I edited it all out because when you hear, what you saw on and hear that noise coming from 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 where they came from, uh, from door to door. So I edited it all out. Hopefully, hopefully there will be no interruption, no no coming to my studio, coming to my to my door. So. I edited it all out, so I'm back right now. So sorry for the sorry for the inconvenience. And let's continue the show on episode 15. Where are where was I? Um. Yeah, the frozen two on these on these two limited editions, the best buy and target. Really like it? I prefer this one. So I'm asking you to go and get one by Target, Best Buy, and Walmart in USA and Canada. Make sure you keep safe. You make sure to stay safe to shopping to buy this for folks to to share to your family, your kids to. Enjoy this movie a lot during the spring and summer in 2020. It's available now. Anyway, um, now um, here's our our reveal. But we are this new Swarthy Channel Studios is moving to. That episode 14 I didn't reveal and Thursday I, I gave the details, this teaser and what I'm about to reveal is this episode 15 which is this Saturday, this today, what I'm about to reveal that this new Swarthy channel is going to move so Here's the reveal that we are about to head into beside from US and Canada and it closes by the British Columbia where the descendants Riverdale and Elle. There are so many television shows and movies they appear in Vancouver, British Columbia. So what I'm about to reveal that this new Swarthain Channel Studios is going to be moved. What well, I'm about to reveal this content. So, here's a reveal that this new Swarthain Channel Studios is heading to. Take a look. And yes, this new South Asian Channel Studios is heading to Calgary, Alberta. Yes, it's Calgary, Alberta. That new South Asian Channel Studios is going to be held in Calgary, Alberta. So that announcement is revealed that this new South Asian Channel Studios will be moving to Calgary, Alberta. And um, 
I'm, I am gonna give thanks to the Jamin Belt. Um, I think one of my, I talked to my parents and to discuss about the, the, the agreement. They already signed the agreement, I hope, in April in 2020, so they're gonna sign the agreement before we are heading to Calgary starting April 2020. So I want to acknowledge to the JMN built in Calgary to say thanks and, and parents say thank you to Jamin Belt for this um, for this opportunity, support, and giving giving thoughts for the for this dream home. Yes, it is the the dream home is in Calgary, Alberta that Jamin built. So uh, I don't know what the address is that this new Swarthy Channel Studios is moving to Calgary, Alberta. We don't know the, the, the address yet, but we have the location it's going to be moved from, from Brampton to Calgary, Alberta. So um, in this Ontario area, in the city of Brampton, City of Toronto and GTA right here in Benton, Ontario. So there are a lot of episodes I have to do before I close 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 down starting April will be maybe the last show or maybe May will be our last show here in Benton, Ontario, hopefully very soon in the future. So let's fingers cross that like I'm gonna really really miss this place, the city of Toronto and this homegrown population of in Canada is Toronto and city of capital of Ottawa. That province of Ontario land that I will never forget this this land it really means a lot to me like I really really went so many places malls shopping tours in any events like sports like Blue Jays uh, Raptors Maple Leafs like yeah in Air Canada I never went in Air Canada I just watch on TV on Raptors and Maple Leafs and also I went to watch it Canada I did for the Blue Jays game for 2017 and 18. That one you will see on the MLB videos on YouTube on the Blue Jays game where you saw me on while I was sitting. And it is really, really, really nice to me. And um, I can't think about in, in this Ontario, this, this land that I will never forget. Anyways, um, we're going for one last break right after this on the Prime Show with Corbanjo on Storyfire. That way we'll continue with Roswell with is coming back for March 16 for season two and the Juno Awards hosted by yours truly, this Brent, Brenton's, Brenton's own Alessia Carr is going to be host. So, I'll see you after break. Welcome back. Welcome back from the Pine Show with Carl Benjamin on Storyfire. Now is the Roxwell, New Mexico. Yeah, the Roswell New Mexico is, is back on season two. So it premieres on Monday, March 16, 2020. I hope. Yeah. Uh, Max and Liz. Yeah, Max is, is, is still not dead. So I think Max is dead uh, potentially. Yeah, but I think many power, maybe I think uh, 
I think uh, I think one of these powers who can save Liz, no, not save Liz, save Max from back from the death. Yeah, he's not dead forever, so he's just, he, I just he lost his power and he's dead. He lost his power, so yeah, trying to save, trying to save Rosetta from death, I guess. Yeah, Rosetta coming back from the life. So, Max healed his power to heal Rosetta to save her life, and Liz can't believe it that Rosetta it is finally alive from the death so can't wait to watch the season 2 of the Roswell New Mexico starts on March 16, 2020 on the CW in the United States of America and for Canada is on show time Roswell New Mexico Monday, March 16, 2020, on Showtime. Last one, before we don't have enough time, Alessia Carr hosts for the Juno Awards for the 49th in Sask, Washington, in that area, Sask, Washington, for Juno Awards for the 49th annual and the anniversary on 50th anniversary of Juno Awards is going to be held in Toronto for 2021. So in March 2021 for 50th anniversary of the Juno Awards. That one, I can't wait for this experience, this level of excellence, a powerful moment for the Juno Awards in Canada history. This music event of award, they can be like the Oscars, they can beat the Emmys, they can beat the Grammys, but I hope, let's see how the ratings will go far over the top for the Juno Awards this year and next year for 2021 for the 50th anniversary will be held in Toronto, Ontario. It could be in, in Scotiabank Arena or in the Rogers Centre. Yeah, I think Scotiabank Arena. Yeah, it's going to be held in Scotiabank Arena. I think Roger Center is not going to fit for the Oscar, not fit for the Junos. Not the Oscars, the Junos for the Roger Center. No, it's not going to work like that. But Scotiabank Arena, it can work. So, Alessia Carr, congrats on your nomination and the host of your 2019, 2020, not 2019, 2020, the Juno Awards, the 49th Annual. It's on Sunday, March 15, on CBC. And you can watch on CBC Gem. So, set your reminder, make sure to tune in on Sunday to get ready for the Canada's biggest performance of the year. Anyways, I'm done with the cue cards. <sighs> it's very too hard to see this camera. Anyway, so that's a episode 15 on the Prime Show with Command Man. I'm wearing these earbuds for Air Apple AirPods. So make sure to stay tuned. Your new episodes is next. Jen McAllister and Rebecca, including Black and Out with Back to Black. Our, her new video is next and also make sure to follow on social media that is Facebook, Instagram, Twitter for the Prime Show and for YouTube for Quabana Jaman and also for Storyfire at the Prime Show with Quabana Jaman. Search for me then subscribe onto the Prime Show on Storyfire. The video, the channel is not unlocked yet, so I have to keep trying if Mick Juggernauts will hear me out that they're gonna unlock, they're gonna release to unlock this channel so I can put, put uploading the video. 
So I had to keep submitting this this permit, keep submitting this video channel submission and um, maybe we can work this out. Make sure to follow me on social media on the Prime Show and also thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Saturday show on episode 16 right here on the Prime Show with me, my management on Storyfire. Have a great weekend. Farewell, good day, and good night from Brampton, Ontario. And stay safe from core fires. And also, good luck to the Juno Awards for nominations and winners. May the Lord you shine and shout. To go up, to go up, everybody. Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Prime Show on the daily update. This breaking news. Um, it is all the major events are canceled due to the core virus. Yeah, you know, you know it's happening. This this going on is going over the top disaster. This is really happening since 2001, including a 9-11 attack, which has changed the world in true events. And now one of these cancels is the St. Patrick's Day Parade is now gone and canceled. Now this one is gone. The second one, uh, the Juno Awards on, in Saskatchewan, uh, the 49 Juno Awards with host Alessia Carr. Yeah, she will be very, very pissed. Yeah, really hit hard. It is canceled is over due to the core virus concerns. There are so many major events this March. This winter is is almost over, so due to the core virus because it started in China and now with the Italy. Yeah, people have returned one of their countries to put their risk by spraying the core virus. So, um, it's kind of deep, it's kind of deep risk to everyone to make sure to stay home. If you feel sick, then you need to stay home. And I guarantee you that, that this is going to change the world, this 2020 decade, into a worse, in worse disaster. The healthcare is extremely important to wash their hands for 20 seconds and to survive. I'm asking you to, to all around in the worldwide, is to fight to survive and before preventing a death of vir virus in from your from your coronavirus. That's why I have to say to the camera, to the YouTube and Story Fire, is to fight to survive. Fight to survive is to end this virus of, of coronavirus until April, until summer and spring. Whenever the heat comes, it will kill the virus. That's why I'm predicting if, the, if this is true, that fact it will kill the virus on spring and summer when this, when the sun heats, maybe it will kill, or it doesn't kill, I don't know. But I'll see in the future, whenever it happens, if this is going to work, the heat will kill the core virus. Will they work or will they don't? And also the NBA suspends this season 2019 and 2020 season over the core virus. Onto Jazz 
you join the game with Minnesota Timberwolves, they've been tested positive. And now they stop the game before the beginning of the pre-game. And now it's it's been test it's now it's being positive test of the core virus that is true. That maybe people have went to experience travel in UK, Australia, Asia, and China for basketball or any of history, they have been traveled. So, and also the NHL season will go on except the, the meetings and practices for hockey is going to cancel over the COVID virus. But they're going to eliminate the locker rooms. NBA, MLB, NHL. Eliminate the locker rooms to make sure that doesn't get prevent on the core virus to spread all over into a disaster mess. Sneezing, coughing, sore throat, runny nose, whatever the symptoms they have in the core virus or the flu, it's going to get a lot worse. And I can feel it in my heart, and I was about to start, fell down dizzy, but I didn't. I tried to stay calm and be safe. I tried to be safe, to not try to survive. It's to fight to survive and not prevent to a death. And that's why I am telling you to do important, the right thing is to get the flu shot. It's the only line, the way you do, is to get the flu shot and prevent the flu or the core virus. And that way you will survive by ending this core virus, this deadly this deadly biohazard will be a dangerous, dangerous bacteria. So that's the breaking news update on the Prime Show this season four for the episode 15. So Thank you for watching on episode 15 after the ending of the episode 15 where I just brought the updates for regarding of the core virus update. It has happened. I'm Commander Man and we'll see you next Saturday show. Stay safe everyone.